Hello! Today we're going to start doing some of the things from the reading book. So I'm going to show you uh, the words that we're going to look at and tell you, tell you uh, the question that we need to think about. Why are some changes difficult? So what we have here is we have several words that we're going to talk about. One of them is rattled. That's when you shake something and it makes a sound. It can also mean that you're worried about something. You can feel rattled. Balance. Ooh, I want to make sure I'm balanced so I don't fall over. Slivers. Those are teeny tiny pieces of things. Sometimes people get little slivers of bark dust into their fingers. Canyons. We talked a little bit about that in class. That's when you have a kind of a high mountain and it goes really down low into a valley but comes up really fast again. That's a canyon. Whispering. We all know what whispering is. We've heard that before. Coral. Coral is some things in the ocean. It's actually a living being that lives in the ocean. And it's an important place for a, where a lot of fish live. If you've ever seen uh, the movie with Dory in it, she goes in and out of the coral. Swaying. Here I go. I'm swaying. Those are the words that are in this story that you might not have known. And now you can listen to it. It's called The Night the Moon Fell. And again, we're thinking about why are some changes difficult? One night long ago, Luna the moon hummed high in the night sky. Stars twinkled and Luna's friend the wind dozed nearby. The night was hushed and peaceful. Suddenly the sky shook. A loud whoosh rattled the stars and startled the moon. Luna's grandfather had shot his blowgun and Luna jumped in surprise. She lost her balance and started to roll and roll and roll. Luna rolled through stars. She rolled through clouds. She rolled, rolled down to the earth and splashed into the ocean's cold, dark waves. She broke into shimmering slivers and bits on the sandy bottom of the sea. The huge sky became black. Remember, she was the moon, right? The huge sky became black and still as the deepest ocean. The stars shut their eyes, flowers bowed their heads, and all the birds in the world rose looking for the moon. They flew into, into loud storms. They soared down black canyons. They darted into huge caves, calling, Luna, come back. Bring us your light. Shine your white light for us tonight. Silence. Luna's amigo, the wind, raced up the mountains, whispering and then roaring, Luna, come back. Bring us your light. Shine your white light for us tonight. All the world waited. All the world listened. Silence. Where was the moon? The tiny fish at the bottom of the sea knew. They saw Luna's white glow and they heard her lonely song. Where am I? Where's the sky? Broken, sad, last am I, lost am I. The fish swam around and around the broken moon. What can we do? What can we do? They whispered. We'll be your friends, said the tiniest fish. What's your name? Luna, the moon sniffled. Are you the shining light that hums high in the sky? Asked the rounded fish. Luna sniffed. I was the light high in the sky and now broken and sad, lost am I. The tiny fish and Luna looked up together. They looked up through all the deep, dark water. The little fish missed seeing the moonlight high in the night sky. They missed playing in Luna's white light. In a sad voice, Luna sighed. Oh, sweet fish, how sad am I? I miss my home high in the sky. The little fish felt sorry for Luna. Watch this, said the tiniest fish. And he and the other little fish began blowing bubbles in wonderful and funny shapes to make her laugh and smile. New friends. You are good for me. You make me laugh in this cold, dark sea. The tiny fish began to hum, and in time, Luna hummed too. She hummed herself to sleep. When she woke, Luna looked around. She saw colors. She saw forests of coral and kelp, goldfish that glistened and bluefish that flew. Seahorses galloped gently by and starfish waved their lavender arms. Yes, said the roundest fish, our water world is beautiful too. <gasps> Ooh, said Luna, gasping at all the spinning silver whirls. 
and her surprised ooh rose into glowing bubbles. But a large dark shape with eyes cold as stones brushed by. Bright fish darted away. Luna stopped smiling and rolled into a nearby cave. He's gone now, Luna, called the roundest fish. High or low, there is danger, but I know you are clever and brave. Am I? asked Luna, but deep inside she knew she was. She said, I tell my friend, the wind, all you need is part of you. Ask yourself what you should do. The roundish fish asked, Luna, ask yourself what you should do and we'll help. Let me think, said Luna. She thought and thought and the tiny fish hummed softly to help her thinking. Luna started swaying to their music and the fish swayed with her. Then Luna began to hum and roll to her music and as she rolled in this strange new land, she began to collect herself. How can we help? asked the tiniest fish. Luna sang, all you need is part of you. Ask yourself what you should do. The tiny fish thought and thought. They whispered, ps, 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 and then they knew what to do. The little fish looked inside shells and deep in cold tea caves for bits of glowing moon. With their silvery fins, they began to sweep together the slivers and bits, and on the strange sand, the moon rolled and rolled into herself. She said, Pececitos, little fish, smooth me whole. Please grant my wish. The fish swam round and round Luna, patching and smoothing with their silvery fins. They smoothed her roundness. Luna laughed at the tickly fins. When she studied herself, Luna knew she needed just a, a bit of her friends to stay together. So she said, now, what I need is part of you. Will you be my silverly, silverly glue? The little fish looked at themselves. The tiny fish thought and thought. They whispered. Ps, 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 ps. Luna smiled and hummed. The fish began to wriggle and dance, and they knew what to do. They shook themselves to loosen a few of their silvery scales, and with their fins they patched the rolling moon. As Luna rolled into herself, the sea around her glistened. Luna began to hum and glow. Oh, how beautiful she looked when she was round and whole again. The deep ocean was filled with her white light. Waves rolled rainbows. The little fish rested. Luna then said, Gracias, mi amigos. Thank you. Thank you for your silvery glue. You're so happy, you're like a balloon, said the littlest fish, watching the moon begin to float. Luna laughed. Now round and whole am I, and can float home to my sky. The fish watched Luna float slowly up from the bottom of the sea. They whispered, ps, 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 ps. and then they knew what to do. Holding on to one another's tails, the tiny fish wove themselves into a silvery net around Luna. That tickles, friends. But I agree. Come swim the sky. Accompany me. Slowly, Luna and the tiny fish rose through the clouds and through the stars. When they were high in the night sky, Luna began to hum, and the night sky changed. Luna's white light opened the star's eyes, and her friend the wind purred. Flowers lifted their heads and birds flew high, sang one note, and then nestled in trees and on rooftops. The moon was home and she sang new songs of goldfish and starfish, of coral and kelp, of rolling rainbow waves. Luna's friends, the tiny fish, started swimming in the huge night sky. They heard her voice, sweeter than the scent of a thousand flowers, softer than the shh, shh, shh of waves at dawn. Luna sang, please, dear friends, stay here with me. Swim my skies, my star bright sea. And they did. Look up, high in the sky, Luna's friend, the wind dozes, and her amigos, the tiny fish, swim nearby. They twinkle through the night, and Luna smiles her white light. This is a legend. This is how people explain things before they knew as much as they know about science. And usually it has a very special story where something that isn't really alive is alive. I hope
hope you like the story. Bye.